be upon you and welcome to Muazzam Minutes. My name is Fatma al Gharabi and today we will look at one of the commandments of the commander of the faithful, Ali, peace be upon him. Our episode begins just where the close companion of the commander and his name is Kumail ibn Ziyad. This palace man is known to be among those whom are close in proximity to the commander and is also known for the treasures he narrates from the commander of the faithful. Kumail does not have a large quantity of narration, but he has a small group that narrates which contains more riches than what can be imagined by the human mind. He narrates from the commander of the faithful commandments, instructions that he heard from him after asking him, O oh master, command, instruct me. If you want to find success, happiness, riches, sustain us and be victorious in this life, and the hereafter, we should take heed to this beautiful command. Of course, time does not permit us to go over all of these commands narrated by Kumail, but we have chosen one of the many in order to present it to the world, to the Muslims and non-Muslims, so that everyone gets to know the true Islam brought forth by the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad peace be upon him and his family. The following commandment was reported by Abu Muhammad al-Harani, in his famous, well-known, beautiful book, Tuhaf al-Aqul, The Masterpieces of the Mind. The commander of the faithful says, O Kumail, before you eat, mention the name of him, whose name bans every malady, illness, affliction, complaint, and presents a remedy for it all. The following commandment teaches us to consistently remember the Creator. If one follows this from a young age, and as we say, practice makes good, one will continue to remember God's blessings. The Imam, peace be upon him, wants us to consistently remember this meal that is now between our hands has come from whom? It has come from God's green earth. The Muslim is raised in this matter to consistently remember and offer thanks. We see this occurring amongst the non-Muslims as well. When we look upon our Christian brethren, before they begin a meal, they offer grace, thanks, and mention God's name. When we read the holy book, the Quran, we see the following reoccurring law, which states, my slaves, if you are to thank me, I will increase your blessings. Hence, we see a correlation between thanking and receiving. The same way you thank the waiter that brings your food, or your spouse, or mother. Thank the one who gave you the faculties to eat this meal, the one who bestowed upon you this meal because he is the source of all good, all blessings, all riches and all nutrients and thanking him means he will be pleased and keep you in good health because his name, God's name, is remedy. Let us pray to Allah that he bestows in us his everlasting love and compassion and we beseech him by his greatest creation, Muhammad and his holy progeny, peace be upon them, that he keeps on showering us with his blessings. Peace be upon you and peace be upon Muhammad and his holy progeny.